Well, indeed, European parliamentary elections are approaching as political analysts are describing this upcoming vote as critical and trend setting. So let's understand why. Here we have the seat projection for the upcoming European Parliament. At the bottom, we see how the Parliament looks at this stage. And really, the biggest difference here is that the majority that we've seen over the last 40 years at the European Parliament between the EPP, the Conservative Party, and over there, the the SND, the socialist group, they've been forming a coalition over the last couple of years, passing legislation, but that is unlikely to continue. So we could see these two parties seeking further alliances, for instance, with the liberal family there in the middle. The second point to make here is really about the performance of the far right parties. They are expected to get about 20, 26% of the seats. You can see here that they're divided in three political families and so the biggest challenge for these parties in the European elections is to consider whether they could form one big group because if indeed they join forces then the expectation is that they could derail negotiations on the upcoming European budget, they could stop sanctions against countries that, that disrespect the European rule of law as well as block trade negotiations. But of course, when we talk about European elections, we cannot forget about Brexit. The expectation is that British lawmakers will leave the European Parliament as soon as Brexit takes place. And in that scenario, in that case, then the chamber is going to be reduced from 751 members to 705. And so if we look at the current seat projection, we can see that it's the socialist family, the SD group, that is going to be dented by the fact that Labour MEPs will will no longer be at the European Parliament. And then when we look at the performance of the far right as well, then in this scenario without the UK MEPs, they're still expected to get about 24% of the seats. Having spoken with different analysts, they've told me that the risks that the far right poses are not so much in the short term, but more medium to longer term. It is whether they will be able to use the European platform to make gains at home. Let me just say as well that the data you're seeing here is from an independent website called europeanelectionstats.eu. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.